Hey, what's for dinner tonight? If this kind of question makes you feel a little uneasy because you don't consider yourself the best cook in the world, then turn off those competitive cooking shows and tune in here. I'm about to disclose some really cool cooking tricks. Having them under your sleeve will make cooking easy peasy for you. Well, don't really keep them under your sleeve because it could get messy in there. Number 1. You probably know that garlic adds a delicious flavor to food. But how do you get rid of its smell after cooking? Well, simply rub your fingers on stainless steel, like a kitchen sink, and the odor will come right off your hands. 2. Oops, you got soggy berries, right? To keep them fresh longer, mix 3 cups of water with 1 cup of apple cider vinegar and soak the berries in it for 5 minutes, then dry them on a paper towel. 3. If you're a fan of marshmallows, then you should know how to keep them soft and tasty. All you have to do is put them in a jar with brown sugar. Now you can eat them later. But who on earth leaves marshmallows for later? Number 4. Cooking fish on a grill is a real challenge most of the time because it sticks to the grill and falls apart. To prevent this, put the fish on slices of lemon. It will absorb the scent of the lemon and stay whole. 5. If you need to grate something, then spray some oil on the grater. That's the best way to make the food slide easier and it doesn't get stuck in those tiny holes. Number 6. Storing food in a bag for freezing isn't anything hard, right? But when it comes to soft products like homemade ice cream yum, it's a bit more difficult. To make your life easier, put a bag on the bottom of an empty cup and fill it. 7. Here's how to cut a watermelon without leaving the kitchen a mess. Slice it horizontally and take one half. Then cut the half into slices going one direction. And finally, while carefully keeping the slices together, also pronounced together, slide the watermelon in the other direction to get nice-looking cubes. 8. Want an ice cream that won't be a threat to your weight? Just put a stick in a cup of yogurt and let it freeze in the freezer. Presto! Your healthy dessert is ready! 9. Brown rice is a healthy grain that can be served a lot of different ways as a side dish. But if you're short on time, you can soak it in water overnight and it'll cook much faster the next day. 10. When you cook pasta, finish it for 1-2 to two minutes right in the pan with the sauce. That way, the flavor of the sauce infuses the pasta and it'll be more delicious than usual. 11. Hard-boiled eggs are probably one of the most popular breakfasts around the world. But sometimes peeling them can get messy. Adding a bit of vinegar when you boil them helps the shell peel off more easily. Number 12. Your brown sugar clumped into pieces? No worries! A piece of soft white bread will solve the problem. Put it in a jar with the sugar and it'll break back down into sandy granules in a few hours. 13. Need some drops of lemon juice, but your fruit doesn't want to give? Put it in the microwave for around 20 to 30 seconds to release the juices. 14. The easiest way to peel a kiwi looks like this. Chop it off at both sides, take a spoon, and push it in between the fruit and the skin to scoop out the flesh by turning the fruit until all the skin falls off the back of the spoon. 15. Speaking of garlic again, it can be pretty tricky to peel. But here's a great solution. Crush cloves lightly using the flat side of a knife and the heel of your hand. 16. If you've cut an avocado in two, save it from turning brown by putting a few drops of lemon juice on the pulp or by brushing the avocado half with a little bit of edible oil. 17. Make cubes with cilantro, parsley, basil, or any other herb or edible plant to save yourself time during cooking and prolong their use. Finally chop them and pack the wells of ice cube trays with them, adding extra virgin olive oil. 18. To make your fresh herbs last longer, store them in the fridge with their stems in a glass of water, like a bouquet of flowers. 19. If you need just a few drops of citrus juice for your dish, don't cut it whole. Simply pierce the fruit with a knife or a skewer, squeeze it a bit to get the juice, and put it away for the next use. 20. Want your burgers to cook evenly? 
Make a small indent in the center of it with your thumb when it's on a grill or pan. 21. If you don't have much time, but need to defrost something you just got out of the freezer, put it under cold running water. 22. A cutting board can slip and wobble when you chop food, which could be dangerous. To protect yourself, especially your fingers, put a dish towel or damp paper towel under it to make it more stable. 23. If you need to cut a ton of cherry tomatoes and want to do it faster, then place them between two plastic lids and slice them all at once. 24. Want a whipped cream but have no blender? You can simply shake the cream in a mason jar. But hey, don't forget to put the lid on! Number 25. Keep a knife under really hot water for a minute, then dry it with a paper towel if you want to make a clean cut through any sticky dessert like a cheesecake. 26. Use a light coating made of egg yolk and a bit of heavy cream to let your pastry get that shiny golden brown look. Brush this so-called egg wash over baked goods while they're baking. 27. If you've overcooked chicken and it's too dry, cut up the pieces, add some mayo, some spices, and your favorite veggies. Ta-da! Delicious chicken salad is ready! 28. If the sauce you're cooking has gone lumpy, then pour it into a blender and blend for just a few seconds to get rid of those pesky clumps. 29. Prepping salad before serving is a huge time saver. Layer all the ingredients in a bowl and don't add the dressing until it's time to serve. 30. When you cook pancakes, you should watch for the bubbles to appear on them. At the moment you see little bitty bubbles around the edges, you can be sure it's the perfect time to flip. 31. Love crispy fries? Mmm. To make them even crispier, slice the potato and soak it in cold water for an hour to get rid of the starch. Then dry it properly with paper towels and start cooking. 32. Crying again while chopping an onion? No more of that. Just cut off the root before you slice it. 33. Peel tomatoes effortlessly. Get someone else to do it. Now. Cut an X in the top and then simmer in a pot of hot water for 15 to 30 seconds. Cool them down and the skin will fall right off. 34. When you cook something with chili peppers, coat your hands with any vegetable oil to protect the skin. Wash your hands with soap right after the cooking is done. 35. If you want your dinner to be a bit fancy, like in a restaurant, then warm your plates in the oven at a low temperature for 10 minutes before serving the food. 36. To make perfect sunny-side-up eggs, crack them in a preheated pan coated with oil, and then add a bit of warm water and close the lid for 45 seconds. 37. If you need to make a lot of mashed potatoes but don't feel like peeling them, then you can put raw, unpeeled potatoes in boiling water for 15 minutes. When they're soft, get them out and place them in cold water. After that, the peel will come off effortlessly. 38. To whip egg whites faster and better, make sure they're cold and add just a bit of salt to them before you start the whipping process. 39. It's impossible to cook without a knife, right? And here's how to use it the right way. Chop with the rear part of the blade, not the tip, in a rolling motion. 40. Before putting a steak on the skillet, dry it off with a paper towel, ensuring it will caramelize, not steam. 41. To make meat and poultry juicier, brine them for an hour or so before cooking. And brining is just a fancy word for soaking in water with salt. 42. The heart of any dish is seasoning. Don't be scared to experiment and use seasonings and spices you haven't tasted before. That's the best way to transform any ordinary meal into something fancy. 43. Cook whole butternut squash in the microwave for up to 3 minutes. After that, peeling it should be easy. And number 44. The best trick for a mouth-watering vegetable cream soup is to fry all the vegetables separately with olive oil before blending them. The sugar in the vegetables will caramelize, making your soup more flavorful. So, what do you think? Do you know any other great cooking tricks? Let me know down in the comments!
If you learned something new today, then give this video a like and share it with a friend. But hey, don't go peeling your potatoes just yet. We have over 2,000 cool videos for you to check out. Just click on this left or right video and enjoy. Stay on the bright side of life.